Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we worked on props and created a child component for a questions list component. In this lecture, we will remove one more warning that we are seeing in the browser. But before removing that warning, first let me know you that what is the warning in actually. Okay, so if you inspect the element on the browser and go to the console tab, okay, here you will see the warning that uh, React DOM dot render is no longer supported in React 18. Use create read create root instead. Okay, so we are seeing this warning just because we are trying to render our React component using React DOM dot render method. Okay, but this is now a deprecated method in the React 18, which is the latest version of React, and we are working with that. And just because of this, and we did not switch to the newest API, this warning for our app will be considered as that our React. React app is developed in 17. Okay, so to remove this warning, we need to make some changes into our welcome component. Okay, in the warning, you can see that React itself suggesting that instead of React DOM dot render, we should use create root. Okay, so let's use that. So switch to the project directory and open the welcome dot JSX component. Okay, and we need to make some changes here. So here you can see in on my screen that line number 15 to 17. We need to comment this out okay and what we need to do now we need to create a root element here so we can define the root element like const root okay whatever the name you can provide this constant but uh, since we are using create root so that's why i'm providing name as root okay and now you can add react dom dot create root okay and then what you need to do here you can see document dot get element by id welcome okay and you need to provide this argument as id here okay now sorry you need to provide this element for creating a root okay and this is fine now and you need to make one more change here that you need to add now since we are using create root so we need to or uh, import the react dom from react dom slash client okay as this will give another warning now we define the root element what we need to do as the next thing that we need to invoke the render method on this root element so we can do root dot render okay and here we can render our component so what is our component name welcome okay save this and remove this commented lines because we don't need it now so save it and now you can refresh your browser and you will see that the warning is disappear now okay now we are not showing the create root warning anymore and our data is still displaying as usual okay now we can add a strict mode here okay which is provided by react so let's import or let's render all our component inside the strict mode so what we can do here react dot mode okay and then just indent this component and just use react dot stick mode okay and then save again then then save the component sorry then just save the component again and refresh your browser okay you will still see the same output and still there is no warning okay go to the console okay now one can think that why we added a strict mode okay so a strict mode is a tool for highlighting potential problem in an application just like react fragments okay but like create fragments a strict mode does not render any visible ui okay it just activate additional checks and warnings for its descendants okay you just need to know one thing that strict mode checks are run in development mode they do not impact the production view okay so what we cover in this lecture that uh, we removed the create root warning okay and we updated our welcome.jsx okay welcome component or our root component so whenever you design any root component you just need to follow that you can uh, create the root element and invoke the create root okay and then invoke the render method on that root element to display the data okay and that's all from this lecture and let's meet into the next lecture with how react states work okay till then just follow this lecture and remove the warning from your app and tata goodbye take care and stay safe